What's up guys, so we're talking about Mongolian oldest game, which is this little tiny small guy over here. Before we get start, let's roll the intro. This little guy is a Mongolian oldest game. Let's say in the 13th century, when the Chinggis Khan meet his the best friend Jamuk, they exchange two ankle bones, which is sim uh, symbolized for their own relationship. This thing is we call it the shara. The ankle bone it's come from the goat and sheep from the back leg. It look like something like this, but you have to separate them. But think about it as a meat before and we eat it for dinner, lunch, breakfast. As you see, the ankle bone is a four side. Every side symbolized for different animals, which is goat, sheep, horse and camel. With the ankle bone you can play more than 13 different games. In this video I will cover the main 3 games. The game 1 is the horse racing. First of all we make a line with the horses which is our racing range. Next every player is going to choose one random ankle bone which means it's going to be your horse. After that we pick another 4 more we will use it for the game. Once we done with all the setups and we start the game. I'm sure you can see my face somewhere around here, which is no one's to no one around here to play with me, which is I play with myself. And let's say with the hand with the tattoo, it's my player one. And tattoo guy, it's a player two. And the rule is really simple. You have to do you have, all you have to do is get your bones and you have to do it something like this. But if you got to a horse, you can go and if you got one horse, which is you can go one time, but the time I don't have. Okay, turn four and tattoo guy. Uh, tattoo guy. Uh, and tattoo guy got one, which is one. I turn. Okay, come on, guys. You're losing. You got one. Bang. They got same. Uh. There's nothing. When you draw, if you got the two horse, you can go two time, like one, two. And if you got three horse, you can go three time, like four time at the same. Another one, another one, which is if you got the four different, like this, four different, which is you can go four, uh, four time, like one, two, three, four. But every time the players draw only one time. The whole game goes like this because we will reach the really end of the line, which is our winner. The game number two. Throw it and catch it. In this game, we need lots of bones and we call the sump, which is this small chain. In this game, you will throw the chain two times up. The first time, they throw the chain up in the air. The wild chair in the air. You have to separate some bones from the big amount of bones. And you have to catch it back with the same hand. The second time you throw it, you grab all the bones you separate before and catch it, but the chain has to land on your hand. But there's some things you can have to do in the game, which is when you draw up the chain, you have to catch it in the same hand, not in other hand. The second, the second thing. The second time you throw the chain up and grab some bones, the chains go come down to your hand. Sometimes it's hit your some of the bones. And you lose some of the bones from your hand because of the chain, the force landed on your hand. If you lose only one of those, which is your turn is over, you cannot keep the rest of the bones and you have to wait for your round. The whole game goes like this, very end of the the bones we collect in the middle, when it's over, the person who got the highest number, that's a winner. In this game, the hand side can be an advantage, can be. The game number three, click the bones. Right click, that thing, ouch, that's hard. Let's get started. The last game we call the ankle bone clicking. First of all, you have to draw some amount of ankle bone in underground, then start looking for same shape with animals, you have to click a same animal to same animal. For example, goat to goat and sheep to sheep. 
and if you made it click one you know uh, touch another one if you hit your target which is you keep the one of those ankle bones which is you can keep it with you and this game there's something you cannot do for example when you click the one bone to another bone it must be touch the one you targeted uh, that is moving that's a way if you miss your turn is over but when you click in one bone to another it must be touch the bone it can be a touch another bones for example like touch your target first then touch another bone which is also a mistake you cannot also you cannot get any bones if you made one of those mistakes your turn is over and next player grab it and do the same step and throw it and click it guard it and until they made some mistake the end of the game person who got the highest number it's a winner We are almost done here, but let me explain why it's a really good game for the kids from Mongolia and why we play. So first of all, when the kids used to play this kind of games, which is they got their own the object feelings between the objects, they got feelings. Once they grow up, let's say they be in a nomad, they go to the animals looking for some area, which is they they get they don't get lost easily, which is they have already get uh, feelings between the objects. And if you have any questions, just let me know right in down there somewhere in the comment section. I will answer every single question. And make sure you subscribe and see you next video. Bye! Oh, I'm not done yet. Right? Before we end this video, I will teach you one word, which is thank you. In my language, which is we call the Bayrta. I know it sounds weird, right? Like, <laughs> okay. Bayrta. Maybe you can do like this way, it might, might be easier. Bye, la, la. Okay? Bye, la. And see you in the next video.